not technically a dinosaur poop. It could be any, like if I pooped now and it, it was a fossil in five years, that would be a coprolite. It takes about 10,000 years for something to fossilize. Not if I stick it in a special pressure, high pressure chamber with a, some kind of laser. Like those fake diamonds, right? Artificial diamonds. Yep. You can make artificial diamonds out of poop. No comment. Anyway, so do you have coprolites here in the museum? Uh, I don't know if we have any on display. Why not? Why don't you put those on display? You'd think people would want to see that. A uh, limited gallery space. The museum has been meticulously designed by the best experts in museum studies and space design. Uh, you know, far and they be have it. determined that there is no ideal space in which we could properly display a coprolite. Man, I think it's a conspiracy against the coprolites. If you feel like the museum could be improved, we encourage guests to leave comments in the suggestion book. So I am leaving a, a suggestion about the copper lights. Alright. And hopefully, they'll take it seriously. They read and think about every suggestion that is put in that box. Alright, on. So on this side, it's Alberta, and on my right, it's British Columbia. And the reason I'm here is that I'm actually in my car, and I realized, you know, what would be really cool is when someone asks me how many times have I been to British Columbia, eight, nine, ten times in BC, eleven. When someone says they've been to BC, it means they have left the province and come back. So. about 40 times in BC and I'm getting dizzy so I'm gonna do a little uh, figure eight and go around the other way a bit. You know if you want to come down here to the Great Divide you could visit BC like hundreds of times and beat my record here. I don't want to be completely naked on YouTube so I rigged up a uh, a yarn bombed cod piece. <laughs> so I'm swimming in the fountain. <laughs> she told me I have to get dressed. Yeah. Oh really? Why? That can't be the right, can't be true. No, no, it's actually forbidden in the public places in Paris. Um, I'm a YouTuber and yes. today is hot dogs day and spinach day and cherries day and I'm wondering if the chef would be willing to prepare a special dish for the occasion. A special dish. I'm wondering if the executive chef could prepare a special dish for the occasion yes, okay. maybe with some hot dogs and some spinach. Hot dogs? Yes. Hot dogs maybe is not possible. I brought my own. Yeah, I, I have. I have some. Yes. I check with the kitchen. Okay. Thank you. So here we are. Could we ha arrange to have this added to the menu, the daily Dinkus cherry spinach hot dog? 
<laughs> in your menu? In my yes, menu? right in here, yes. It's for check with my manager. Okay, let's do that. So maybe, you know what, I will uh, talk to the chef. I will ask him, but you know. Let's do that. Do you remember when Justin Bieber signed the guest book? No. You didn't hear about that? No. Oh, he said Anne is a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. Okay. So, I wanted to put something in the guest book, but I don't think I'll be able to get tickets. Um, so I'm wondering if you could, could you just put this in the guest book for me? Amazing to be here, Anne was a great girl, hopefully she would have been a dink alike. I'm Daily it's Dinkus. really nice. Who were bloomers and drank daiquiris yes. because those are the holidays for today. Okay. And by the way, if you see her ghost, please tell her that she is beautiful. Because it's tell a girl she's really beautiful nice. day. Yes. Really nice. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm going to put this in Thank now. you so much. Yes. Hey guys, I'm a YouTuber. I'm celebrating World Jump Day today. If 600 million people jump, we can change the orbit of the Earth just a little and maybe stop global warming. You know, because you were so nice, I have something for you. It's it's lollipop day. So maybe maybe the kids would like some some lollipops. Would you would you like Lollipops? Uh, would you like one? Would you like one? <laughs> oh my god. I am going straight to hell. I just gave those kids cannabis lollipops. <laughs> so I've been walking down this street and at the end of which is Xenikippus. That is him. Definitely a boy dog. Yeah, I have a little addition to make. So I'm just setting up on top of a kind of a utility box here. Yeah, I'm just trying to press it down. It seems like it's uh, it's, it's sticking. <laughs> what is that? What is that underneath him? That's what I was saying. Do you know? No, it looks I, I have no idea. it looks like a cat being peed on or something. That's it. Yeah. Who what kind of crazy person would do know, that? Only in Belgium. Only in Belgium. That's it's, it. It's crazy. So here we are at National Piping Center in Glasgow. I'm really excited to go in and have a gander. Let's go. And I'm done. <laughs> I think as I wandered around a bit and realized that Caitlin Thomas is Dylan's wife. Long suffering, I imagine. And on the other side, of course, is Dylan Thomas. There's no fizz because this can actually cracked under my seat in the car. But let's see if it still tastes like Guinness. Mm hmm. That's Guinness. It's Guinness for Thomas. Hey, buddy. Down the hatch. Cheers, my old friend. So it's early morning, like just after 5 a.m. And my Airbnb is right here. And I'm gonna sneak these keys onto this porch. And I've also left a little note. Hello, today is sneak some zucchini onto your neighbor's porch day. It's also female orgasm day. Probably just a coincidence. And admit that you're a happy day. In any case, whatever you do with these zucchinis slash courgettes. I hope they put a huge smile on your face. Love, your neighbor, Daily Davis. Find me on YouTube. Bye now.
these are the restrooms in Trump Tower. Hey man, how are you doing? Very good. Would you like some Trump toilet paper for the road? I have some. You have some? Awesome, man. Have a good day. All right. How about you, sir? Would you like some Trump toilet paper? All right, so I think it's attached firmly. And how awesome is that? Slinky to the rescue. So I just realized I have one more little problem, and that is that today is not actually Marshmallow Day. It's Toasted Marshmallow Day. How awesome is that? I love how he looks in the light. That's brilliant. So, oh, he's on fire. He's on fire. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Well, oh, shit. Oh, no. His face is coming off. Oh my god, his face just kind of melted off. I guess I kind of overdid it.